So very quickly I will I will you see go through it you see. So that's a sustained release dermal patch which we develop for wound healing. Uh, is it working? Yes. I'm not going all this. If we will get this kind of a leg by 2030, the India is going to be a diabetic capital, all of you know probably. And 20% of diabetic people will develop a foot like this. So you have enough scope, you see, in future to uh, do a lot of the work on wound healing, you see. So I don't wish to go all these things. That, but basically, without any kind of a... It is not proceeding. Can you help us? Yes. Can you help us? The slides are not moving. So there are... We don't need a lot of technology to understand whether wound is a, wound is a good or wound is a bad, you see. There are a lot of clinical observations which you have described that... What? Could you please, uh, yeah, you could please, yeah. Is now in order? Thank you. Thank you. So I have to finish in time, you see. So I will take only five minute time. So there are two little characters. These characters will describe that whether you are dealing a good wound or a bad wound. Wound healing is a dynamic process. Let me tell you that a single drug is not suitable for every stage of wound healing. The drug which is used at the beginning, when there is a cut, the same drug may not be suitable if that wound gets infected, you see. So you need a different kind of a drug at different stage of wound healing. This was first understood by Susuru and he has categorized the drugs in two basic groups. One is a drug called Bronosodan. They clean the wound. The other drug is Bronoropan. They help to foster quicker epithelize and quicker healing of wound, you see. So a broad classification that we come to know in 2007 when the concept of wound bed preparation come in modern science, you see. So see, look at, you see, a concept which was existing in 2,500 uh, years before that you need to clean the wound first. I mean, you have to convert a bad wound. I'm just coming. That is what a clean wound looks like. You don't need anything. They have given certain characters. If you look this wound, it's a clean wound. It will heal by itself, does not require anything. Not require honey, not require my drug. Nothing is required. If you only protect it, it will heal by itself. So you can enhance the healing by giving certain drugs, what we call brana ropana. So there is a different group of drugs. They probably help, they act as a proliferative. They help in uh, fibroblast polyphyrosis. So there are drugs there, name as a antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory. So there are a lot of drugs in Ayurveda. More than 150 drugs have been described in Ayurveda. They can be used in wound healing at different stages. Now this is, this slide is important. So why it is important? The, the upper one you see a bad wound. The lower one you see the good wound. So the whole objective of wound healing to convert a bad wound to a good wound, you see. So that what we do it, you see, we call it a dust brown. So look the language. It is same what you say in English and what you say in, also in Ayurveda, bad wound. And the changing towards the Suddha means meaning towards the good wound, you see. So once we do it, the job is over, you see. So that for doing this job, Susut has described a lot of plant-based medicine, you see. Okay. This is another important slide, it's very important. Hey, you see the first one is Professor Dante, who is known as a father of wound healing. The second one, honor, they, she is a lady, she is a biologist basically, did a lot of work on wound healing. He is to, they are the, they are the forefather of wound healing. My all teachers, they work under them, you see. And no more is there, no, none of these photographs are now existing, you see. They all have left. They contributed in first nerve transplant of by Ayurvedic surgeons. See, look, there was somebody told morning, you see. Look at these people, you see. They, the first renal transplant in our country was done in 1972 at Padarasi University. And there are team where they received the, there are recipient and there are uh, donor, you see. So this team was created by a two peop uh, four people out of which two were from Ayurveda, two were from modern medicine. Look at this, and it was headed by Professor Urupa, who was the founder of the Institute of Medical Sciences at Banaras University. 
So look at you see, he is capable. That is the probably the most challenging task to a IITian who are you are dreaming for it. You see, it is a very difficult task to satisfy the egos of people. It was Professor Urupa who satisfied the egos of both the faculty people, and he brought together people too. He used to hold the people together and ask them to work together. So what I say always that it is we work together. We never talk together, or hardly we talk together. And we never work together. So that is the biggest challenge, you see, in doing it. Professor Urupa did this job, and now these people are no good. Why I take this slide to you? Because we all know that this fibroblast, they are the important cells which helps in cell proliferation to they, they bridge the gap, you see. So they fill up the gap. The fibroblast, they, poly, they, 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 they produce certain filaments like structure, we call this fibroblast, this collagen they are synthesized. So we now, all wound healing people, those who work, we know that vitamin C is an important vitamin who is useful in wound healing. Why it is so? Because this vitamin C acts as a coenzyme to help in maturation of fibroblast. If it is not there, so the healing will be the killing will not be proper and it will be premature, you see. We know it now, you see. But this fact was established by these people to whom we have seen, you see. They have, these people have contributed to understanding of this basic phenomenon that vitamin C helps in wound healing. That is a basic work done by them. So they help not only, you see, and this culture was continued in my department, in my department, you see, and there was a culture of working with the wound healing, with using traditional medicine. They pour their knowledge to develop Ayurveda. That is the basic thing, what we need today, you see. So we used, uh, what I found during my practice, that Panchavalkal, the five plants, they are being used extensively on wound healing. You can, you will get more than hundreds of references in Ayurveda that the decoction of these plants are being used. Very common plants, what Aswastha Pakar, and Udumbar, Manaya, Jiraki, Dumur, Bolyarki, and there is another is a religious plant. These pipes are being used extensively in Ayurveda. The baths are being taken. What we did, I found a patient like this, what Professor Banerjee said, like this, a burn. We got a necrotizing fasciitis. What I found to my surface, this poor person has nothing. Not even a bed to, call, to lie down, even a, not a mosquito net to cover. So, we, what I found, I debride this patient and I found that within 30 days, you see, the entire granular center should cover this whole wound without any antibiotics. Believe me, our this patient has nothing to, don't have anything to eat, you see. So we provided everything. Then it created an inspiration for me that probably it helps in wound healing. So then I, we have a lot of patients, Dr. Banerjee with us. We have an enormous number of patients for perineal sepsis like corneous ganglions and like this. Then I started working this with corneous ganglions. What I used to do is to prepare decoction and used to pour on these wounds. Look at these wounds. They change, you see, like anything. So we cover them. Look at this extensive corneous ganglion has converted to a clean wound, you see. Now then we have grafted them. So this is not for male, female, whosoever. Then it created an interest on me. Then I designed a scientific parameters on which I try to assess these, uh, these you see, drugs. So I tried these six parameters, estimation of bacterial load, then estimation of hydroxyprotein, DNA proliferation, assay, then collagen typing, uh, max scoring and histopathological examination. What I found, this drug is an uh, antimicrobial, antifungal also. This is a known phenomenon, you see, and this drug is being in Ayurveda and uh, for many, as an antifungal also used in uh, genital infection also, fungal infection, in female also. This drug shows uh, antimicrobial potency also. So it also enhances the fibroblast uh, this new capillary formation, which is essential for drug release. It reduces microbial load, enhances formulation of capillary, promotes collagen synthesis and this. So it also, then we tried this drug, you see, as a powder, as a solution, as a film. So then what happened, you see, we prepare the nanoparticle of these drugs. So these nanoparticles are, you can see, these are the electron microscopic studies of 
of the, the nanoparticles, the surface once you have impregnated, and then we have studied this. What we have done, then what is this drug is being taken up by the cells? Yes, the drugs are being taken up by the cells. We have tagged this drug with a coloring agent, this, this rhodamine, and we have demonstrated that drug. Rhodamine is pink in color, and once you mix the rhodamine uh, with the drug, so it converts the color and it changes the color to a pink color. So it, it shows that the drugs are being taken up by the cells and it enhances this fibroblast polyphenol. We go for a cell culture. What we demonstrated is that in presence of this drug, the cell polyphenol is much greater. What we have found that this drug, then they are, they are you see, impregnated with a polymer. This polymer helps us to deliver the drugs more than 72 hours. Means if we apply the drugs at the site, it will deliver the drugs to more than 72 hours. You see. That's how this drugs, you see, it acts, you see. So when so it will gradually see pour this drug at the wound surface for more than 72 hours. You need not change the wound dressing material now. So with this, you see, now we have shown it on experimental model that it helps it quickly, you see that it helps a faster healing in compared to the other. We tried these drugs on a scaffold, which is a biodegradable scaffold, where the drugs are impregnated by an electrospiring technique, and then we use this, this, this scaffold for wound healing. In multicentric trial, we have demonstrated that the drugs had a beneficial effect on moderately infected wound. This we have published in many journals like this. That's the problem. We have done this work as an experimental work. Now it is very difficult to take it as a product to the market, you see. We have faced a lot of difficulties. We approach many IVD companies. Nobody, IVD companies usually they prepare some tablets, some capsules, maybe some syrups. Nobody is ready to prepare a dressing material. We approach to the modern people the dressing material. There are very few companies they prepare it, you see. Nobody, everybody refuses that we don't prepare IVD drugs. So, uh, but I, this I worked for last more than 15 years, 2007 I am working. We are disappointed. So, then finally, I got, it's the grace of God, we got some opportunity to uh, discuss with these issues with some companies, they have agreed upon, and only 15 days before, we have taken it as a product, you see, to the market as a super deal. This is a multi-layer dressing. Uh, uh, I have some basic material. Uh, it, is it there somewhere? I, I, have, uh, I don't know where it has kept it. I have taken it somewhere. It's a multi layer dressing material. If it is there, please someone help me to provide it. Nowhere in the Ayurveda you will see a dressing material like it is there. I am a surgeon. I feel that there is a need of a kind of a dressing material what you could see like this. So that you can ready to use the same thing, sterilize the same material. But you spill it out, it has a surface, which the sum of the A, you will, just once you spill it out, what you will get that, uh, there is a surface with it like this. So uh, area which sticks with the skin. So in, for different size of wound, it can be used at different sizes are available in the market. So if you see a modern dressing material, these are costing not less than some 10, pounds in West European or uh, sometimes they are very costly you see. So this is a ready to use, it sticks over the wound. So it is useful in moderately infected wound. So you can you can use it for after laparoscopic surgery or after surgical procedure. You close it, finish it, for, for forget it for 72 hours. It will deliver the drugs, it will reduce the in the microbial load at that site and helps in fibroblast polyphenolism. So this is what we have tried our best to say in this. It's a teamwork, that is about a lesson. We have a lot of publications in a good journal, so also we have contributed on chapters on it also. So we have also obtained a, a patent, uh, uh, applied patents, and it is going to be approved very soon. That's here the task is. There are a lot of people are there, you can see that we have a people from IIB, BHU, who helps us in this pathology. There are, there are all my PhD students. I forget to see over here, there are the people from biochemistry department. So that is probably the biggest problem with us, that to keep all these people together and get it to work. I face a lot of difficulty. I know that this is the beginning of the whole story. 
we could develop more and more like products like this, which are useful at different stages of food healing. So I really thank you once again for debating my, uh, for giving me an opportunity. I have debated from my, the, uh, the whole uh, topic which is given to me, because it is really difficult to demonstrate the application of carpentry for uh, this line, you know, and this platform. So I have taken this opportunity and thank you. This IIT BHU place, uh, sorry, IIT in Kharagpur, one of the most prestigious institutes having a world ranking and they are thinking of taking Ayurveda with their side, you see. It's really a great, uh, of, uh, great you see, thought. I mean, though they are thinking on it, I must see that it must flourish on it, you see. That's probably the biggest task. Thank you very much.